Does the color of the sky mean anything special to you? It does to me. A hell of a lot. When I close my eyes, the sky in my dreams is a deep, dark blue. Pilots have been in my family for four generations. Flying's in my DNA. Even so, my grandpa didn't want me joining the Air Force. He lost faith in the Ocean Air Defense the day my dad died in battle. You know, Abby, I wish you could see what it's like up there. Cruising above the clouds, the dark blue of the stratosphere. Nothing beats being at the controls and seeing it from the cockpit. Look here. Gramps tossed a magazine over to me with an article. Unmanned fighters are no longer a dream, it read. Pilots taking to the skies will soon be a distant memory. I don't see anything good coming from that. Know what? Lying smack dab in the middle of the desert west of here, there's a bunch of planes from the last war. Some of them have been mothballed, but most of them are just rusted piles of junk waiting to be scrapped. Gramps was really good friends with the super there, so he got to take whatever he wanted, no questions asked. That's how we got the parts to build our own plane. Now, when I say we, I mean me, my grandpa, and his old war buddies. I cut my teeth working with those geezers. They taught me their skills and some dirty jokes. But with their aging eyeballs and whatnot, I ended up having to do most of the work myself. I was at the airstrip doing some flight training when I saw it. A prototype drone. It wasn't much of a plane, more of a trash can with wings. Laugh at it all you want, kid. But technology's always changing. If you don't keep up with it, it'll leave your ass behind. It took six years and eight months to get that engine running. And it took us another year and a half after that to finally get the balance of the airframe just right. I'd gone from being a little girl to, well, still a girl, just older. But now, I was all alone. <sighs> Wherever the souls of my Gramps and his pals are flying, I hope it's peaceful. Then, finally, I was ready to break the sound barrier. All this plane could do was take off, accelerate, and fly up. I saw Osea's fighters. They were tailing something. A drone. They were going full out chasing that thing. Doing 30 Gs at least. Damn, I've never seen anything move that fast. It had a rose painted on it. The Erusian emblem. But that country's a whole continent away from here. Should have built a return too. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Ace Combat 7, Skies Unknown. Finally, it's here. here. Been waiting for it. Settle I'm down. excited to play it. I said settle down. Let's do our briefing. You have all been instrumental in helping to maintain peace in Yuzha as members of the International Union Peacekeeping Force. Until today. Earlier, 
Our radar site informed us that a group of unidentified aircraft was approaching. Communication systems went down immediately afterwards. We are led to conclude that they have attacked the site. Here's your mission. It's possible that the Yuzhen ceasefire agreement has been broken for the first time in over a decade. As of today, the Fort Gray's Air Base Squadron of the IUPF has been put on high alert. All members who have been ordered to sortie, fly there immediately. Find the unidentified craft, then use your weapons to round them up and force them to land. All right. I think if we can handle it. Counter -attack, then you will... What the hell was that? There's smoke! We're under attack. Numerous unidentified aircraft confirmed oh, overhead. Oh, crap. How is that possible? The tank farm to the north has been bombed. Many injured. Scramble. All units. Many Take injured. Unidentified craft attacking <laughs> that guy. the base. This is not a drill. This is not a drill. Uh, I guess we're scrambling right out of our base. Okay. Uh, next, switch operation area. Camera zoom. Uh, here, RB, LB. Very nice. Using the Xbox One controller here. And uh, just getting a taste of this game for the very first time. I'm so excited for this. Been waiting for it to come out on PC. And uh, here it is. Let's go ahead and hit next. Guess a trigger, clown. Knocker Brownie, Golem 3, and Golem 4. I suppose these are all allies. And then uh, TU-95. That's the bear. That's a uh, bomber. That's those bombers with the, uh, the Russian bombers with the uh, props. Okay, start mission. Briefing, aircraft tree, quit mission. Uh, we've already done the briefing. Let's go to start mission. What are they going to give us? Owned. We have a F-16C, F-4E, and the F-104CAV. Uh, speed on that one is amazing, but look at everything else. Uh, stats wise, we're definitely going to go with the F-16C. I mean, air to air, it's, it's, it's looking good there. Let's do that. And, uh, select a SP weapon. So that's a special weapon. Uh, we have a four AAM if we want. That's, uh, where you can fire four, uh, looks like air to air lock on missiles. The GPB is your, uh, your laser guided bomb. And then an SASM, which is a short-range aerial suppression air-to-air -air missile. Interesting. Um, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's go with a 4 AAM on this one. And we're ready to sortie, I believe. Yes. Select aircraft, SP weapons, select parts. You can do all sorts of cool stuff uh, in this game. I'm I'm excited. Let's hit OK. Meet squadron. Aircraft preparations complete. Stand by at the front. This game looks beautiful, too. I've got to say that. I mean, the graphics are definitely, definitely on point here. Mission one, charge assault. The Fort Gray's Island. Cloud cover is scattered. Operation Deerhorn. Take down the hostile bombers, which are TU-95. This should be pretty simple. Scramble. Get those birds in the sky. We're sitting ducks. What's happening? Bombers in some. Don't know how many. Let's clear that runway. We don't Mage got all day here. Mage squadron, head to runway. You got Column it. Column squadron, take off. Link to Skykeeper. Oh, that Three, looks so major. good. That looks so good. So this is a uh, first look video. So we're going to do uh, a couple of the campaign missions. And then from that, we'll jump into multiplayer. All right. Clear for takeoff. All right. Right trigger is full power. We have our camera. Ooh, that is smooth. Ooh. And we are in the air just like that. Gear... Okay, it comes up automatically. Very nice. Wow, we are scooting out of here. Good luck. Uh, raise and lower the nose. Yeah, that's our pitch. Okay. Ooh, it feels pretty smooth. Oh, yeah, that's really good, actually. Um, okay. We're forming up with uh, Mage 1 here. Going to be joining us. Uh, left trigger doesn't... Or uh, click stick doesn't do anything. Went through a cloud. Oh, look at the condensation on the lens. That's neat. Oh, we got something. Oh, okay. Right, click and right stick is our. Uh, oh, I love that. That is nice. All right, there's a T95 down this way. Let's do it. Time to rock and roll. Oh, that is so nice. Reduce your speed with the left trigger if you do. Sorry, too much aircraft will stall. Yep. We got that. All right. Yeah, it's a big airplane. The uh, TU-95 is. Pilot, or so I told them. 
approach that. Once you see that, you've locked on fire homing missile with B. Okay. So, got it. And B. Box one. Is it going to take one? Oh, yeah. It just took one. That thing is gone. <laughs> wow. Not bad, Mage 2. Trigger, switch your radar. See if you can locate the enemy. Okay. I see them on the radar over there. Pressing that will change the range of the radar. Okay. Oh, nice. There it is. Sitting there and oh, okay. To be taken. Yeah, this way. Let's uh, let's not waste any time. Let's light this uh, light this baby up. Okay, that's awesome. Very simple controls. I went with the uh, the advanced flight model, and I also am using um, normal for the campaign. Let's get a uh, better idea what we're working with here. They're over this way. And they're tracking to the south. Let's roll off here. Are you with me, buddy? One. Yep, major one's back there. Oh, they're up high. Okay, I see the uh, target. Let's go introduce ourselves. Yep, let's do it. There's the HUD. I love this interior view. is actually really nice. Look at Oh, look at that. Okay. You got it. Okay, so hitting Y is to change your uh your target oh i've already got a got tone on him let's go ahead and send one his way Ooh, damn splash two why to change the target you got it we got more this way yep they're there right there pair of bombers all right watching my speed here warning oh we got a missile alert oh whoa 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 Wow, we got a MIG. Holy crap. Okay. Well, things are just starting to heat up now. Let's get a little closer to these guys. I see a MIG-21. Uh, TU-95s. That's what we want. Okay. So these are uh, bombers with escorts. This is going to get interesting. We are burning right towards them here. Yeah, slow down a little bit. Trigger, don't forget your special weapon. Special weapon. Exchange weapons. Oh, there it is right there. Oh, oh. oh, there goes four. Sorry, my voice is still trash, guys. Oh, my God. We just rocked them. It's great when it's simple. It's great when it's simple. Enemy bomber down. Nice going, There's Mage two. One. Nice shot, Mage One. Not too shabby, Mage We're two. holding my wing. Look at that. Look at the uh, surfaces. How that moves. <laughs> Clowns moving around a little bit there. There goes somebody. Tally two bandits got it. Uh, bomber and an escort. It's gonna be on our six. Let's roll. Maintain your element with Mage One. Do not break off. Mage One, make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. Yep. We'll go. All right. So I'm gonna jump between camera views here, but uh, let me know what you like better. I know a lot of people are gonna like the outside view. I love the uh, cockpit view, but that's just me. We got some MIGs here. This is about to get interesting. And we're going to be using some sidewinders here, I have a feeling. Some air-to-air -air action. Oh, there's another TU-95 there, though. There's the MiG. Oh, yeah. Those missed for sure. That was a rookie mistake. I should have went guns on him, actually. Oh, and a missile lock. Ooh. Yeah, you aren't kidding, man. All right. Let's uh, let's go back to the mission. Hit by a missile. All right, there he is, right there. Come on, send two his way. Say bye bye. Target Some invasive maneuvers here. Let's Bad find out who's on our six. There Target he is, right there. It's a MiG twenty one. All right, you're mine, buddy. You are mine. There he is, right there. Which way are you going? Wait for it. Right there. Oh, yeah. Two set in his way. Toast. Oh, my God. That's gorgeous. Oh, ho, 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 ho. all right. Back this way. We got more company this way. Another oh, a T-160 this time. Um, we have our other special weapon still, but we're going to save that for uh, in case we get a pickle here. We'll just keep firing some sidewinders at these guys. We're going to be engaging this TU-160. Let's do it. Rolling in on him. I'm glued to this one. 
You're not doing anything. I haven't seen them shoot at anybody yet. Come on, baby. Good body, you. Oh, I'm in guns range here. Hold on. A little bit, right? There we go. Some hits. Got him. Oh, we got a bunch this way. Let's do it. There we go. Let's use our special weapon on this one. Be able to splash them all once. Hesitating for a split second could be the difference between life and death. Stay sharp, think fast. Yep. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get some tone on these guys. There they are. We need to get behind them. We need to get behind them so we can actually get a clean shot here. Hold on. Here we go. Right here. There goes four. Missile inbound. Missile inbound. Miss Oh, damn. We got a hit. I don't even know where the hell that guy came from. Holy shit. The bombers are down. Where the hell did that guy come from? What? Mission accomplished. Oh, my God. Clown. All right, we did it. Let's slow down. It's just one sortie. Just one sortie, guys. I want you to make it back in one piece, you hear? You got it. Yeah, I gotta side with the boss man on this. Ooh, that was intense. This is HQ. Did you confirm any drones? Drones? Nope. Yeah, no kidding. Gee, you trying to kill us out here today? Ooh, that's the MIG. Uh, we are not. That's a MIG. What is happening? What is going on back there? I'm gonna go around this way. I don't. I don't like having a MIG behind me. Stall warning. Oh, look at that. That is amazing. Oh, and replay mode. Very cool. So we can uh, skip if we want to. We got our display. Puts that away. Nice. We probably should get a pretty good uh, screenshot from this. Why is radio? Okay, that shuts them up. Uh, RT is BGM. Right trigger. The music. Uh, sound effects are left trigger. Why you would want to turn that off. LB is to slow time down 0 0.2 and then RB is to speed up time. Oh, nice. And camera angle is right. You go left, right, and up, down, in and out. Nice. Clicking the right stick, you can change between views. Oh, that's gorgeous. Whoa. All right. Very nice. Oh, well, when you speed up time, you don't hear anything. Interesting. Oh, this game is beautiful. This is when we we're going to uh, start engaging a bomber. Very nice. And uh, we can turn off the radio so we don't have to listen to that. Just listen to the beauty. Let's listen to the sounds of this game as we take out this bomber. assessing the damage to the base. We have confirmed that the aircraft carrier Albatross was sunk. We know the attacking bogies were from Arusia. International Union peacekeeping force bases all over the Yuzhin continent were attacked in the same way. The damage is severe. Many wars are lost by failing to recover from the opening blows. That means successfully retaliating was very important. You may have turned the tides of battle here. You have our thanks. All right, here's our uh, mission results, and it uh, looks like it kind of just shows you what uh, what you did. Pretty neat. You can do display on and off uh, like that. You've got altitude on and off if you want to. Uh, you can change the speed. Uh, you can move the camera around freely, and you can see how you engaged your targets. Uh, Red X is dead. Very cool. And you can even change the camera zoom with the left and right triggers. Very cool. I like that. So we got a rank of A on that one, 2,900, total time 72901, time bonus of 5,460. 
uh mrp what is basically the currency in this game we made 3200 and you'll understand reason why you make currency it's to unlock uh, other airplanes and uh, special weapons and armaments from there so let's go ahead and hit next on that mission complete let's go to the next mission shall we as of 1 p.m today the kingdom of erugia has declared war on the ocean federation as soon as the news broke out, enemy aircraft began bombing Ocean territory, causing widespread destruction. The Air Defense Force has released a statement saying this violent attack was carried out by drones. They speculate the drones were secretly transported to Ocea in shipping containers and launched remotely. The Secretary of the Navy has stated that the enemy was targeting naval ports across the country. According to the Secretary, all of the nation's aircraft carriers, including one still under construction, sustained severe damage in the attacks. We have yet to hear back from the department as to the fate of Ocean carriers currently at sea. Hold on, I've just received breaking news. The International Space Elevator, which is being built in southern Yuzha, has been seized by the Erusian Army. Reports say former President Harling was touring the site at the time, but his current whereabouts are unknown. Our sources in government tell us it was Harling's policies regarding the space elevator that caused economic frictions in the area, and which ultimately led to this war. Located near Erugia, on the continent of Yuzha, the space elevator has been under construction for some time now. The Executive Office of the Ocean Federation has declared a national state of emergency. They have ordered all its armed forces, including Yuzhin peacekeepers, to mobilize and make the necessary preparations to launch an immediate counterattack. Ladies and gentlemen, our country is officially at war. Stay tuned for further updates. Breaking news from ENN. Osea launched an attack on the capital today, striking Farbanti from their aircraft carrier, the Kestrel II. After a brutal battle, the Erujian Air Force successfully repelled them. During the air raid, the Ocean Air Force fired missiles at the city and managed to shoot down a number of Erujian fighters. Some of the disabled planes then crashed into residential areas. The world was screwed. Twenty years ago, the Earth got slammed by an asteroid. Yuja was on the wrong side of the planet and got hit. Hard. Refugees swarmed the Erujian Republic, the biggest country on the continent, plunging it into chaos. They were desperate and started a war, one they had no hope of winning. That's the war my dad fought and died in. The biggest nations from two continents went head to head, and the so-called righteous Oceans struck the deal that ended it. They fancied themselves the only nation that could bring peace and stability to the world. They even tried saving the Yuzhans, still suffering from the disaster. That's how a space elevator, stretching way up into the sky, ended up being built in Yuzha, paid for by the Oceans. President Harling said he did it out of compassion for his fellow humans. But to the folks in Erugia, it looked like Osea was moving in to take over. Erugia went from being a republic, back to being a kingdom. When they started this new war, they managed to get the drop on everyone. The second the declaration hit the news, Erujian forces took control of the space elevator without spilling a single drop of blood. President Harling was touring the elevator when it happened and disappeared. Then, while that was going on, the Erujian ships that were docked all around Osea released a swarm of drone fighters they had hidden on board in containers. No one thought they were capable of doing what they did that day. With pinpoint accuracy, they managed to take out everything that was military. And not a single civilian was hurt in the process. Osea pissed lots of people off with their huge military presence around the world. Erugia didn't have the same reach, but they could hit their targets faster and cleaner. And when all this was going down, I just so happened to be in my flying drag racer. In case you were wondering, yeah, I survived. I crashed in a bombed out Ocean Air Force base, then got arrested for breaking wartime aviation laws or some crap. The world went from being at peace to being at war. 
all in the blink of an eye. I was tried, found guilty, and stuffed into a cargo ship. For company, I had some court-martialed soldiers. And remember those mothballed planes I told you about before? They were loaded on the ship, too. We headed off down south for several days, and then swung east. That's how I got here. I was thousands of kilometers from Arugia, on the opposite side of the Yuzian continent. For a port, it was dull as hell. It had three rusty patrol boats, and the base? The fences were topped with razor wire, the tower had a searchlight and machine guns, and a truck with a gun turret was parked in front of the gate. Its gun was aimed at the yard. This was a prison. This place looked like a full-on base, but half the tanker trucks were just big balloons, and the runways weren't even paved, just painted on the dirt. The whole place was just one big, fat lie. The only reason I was here is because they knew I'd restored a supersonic plane. They wanted me to make something out of the mothballed planes they brought, that they could park on the fake runway. Can you believe that shit? So, I tried to escape. <laughs> they found out. <laughs> and set the dogs on me. Damn, she's a tough girl, isn't she? <laughs> I've got to say, you know, usually it's combat doesn't really hold me with the storyline, but this one isn't too bad so far. I'm really enjoying it. Maybe it's just my hype of the game. It's making me enjoy Eurasia it. has made a declaration to the Ocean Federation and all countries on the Yuzhan continent stationing the IUN peacekeeping force that we are now at war. Right after the declaration was made, surprise attacks began around the continent that have inflicted major damage to our armed forces. Forces aligned with Arugia are currently appearing throughout Yuzhia. The combination of these forces has overwhelmed the majority of the continent, and they are now encroaching on us in the east. Additionally, the multinational space elevator has been seized by the Arugian military. After the previous war, the space elevator became both a symbol of peace and a valuable asset in the fight against growing energy concerns. Whoever has control of it will have enormous influence over the entire continent. We cannot turn a blind eye to this critical situation. The Fort Gray's Air Base Squadron has been entered into the order of battle to reclaim the elevator as an advance element. First, you will attack all hostiles coming in the east of Schofield Plateau to stop any interference with the Allied ground troops. The enemy has deployed several vehicles equipped with anti-air radar along the roads. You are to destroy them. They should not pose much of a threat. However, there is a high likelihood that the attack will draw more enemy air support. If that happens, fight them off swiftly and establish air superiority. You got it, boss. Operation Eastern Wind. Our objective is to destroy the enemy ground facilities. Okay, sky conditions are clouds. Broken with the cloud cover. All enemies air targets 0 of 0. Ground targets we know of are 14. 8 naval targets 0. Let's do it, folks. Uh, hit A on that. A, A. Looks like you just cycle through A and then you go to mission prep. And then here we are greeted with this. We have start mission, briefing, aircraft tree, equip mission. Now in the aircraft tree, this is where you can do all the unlocks for your particular airplanes. Uh, so see right now we have an, RM, an MRP right now of 280,000. We could actually buy an F-14 Tomcat if we would like to. Uh, or we could buy an F-2A, buy you know a Mirage or something like that, um, 105,000, so on and so forth. There's an A-10 there. Uh, but it's an aircraft tree uh, f4e phantom that's the 104 we had before there mig 29 if you want to go that route and then you can um unlock things so uh let's go ahead and uh let's roll with what we've got here we've got uh 
four AAMs, GPBs, or SASM. Uh, we probably want to get the guided penetration bombs uh, is what we're going to want to use in this mission. I've already taken care of all of this. I'm just showing you uh, what you can do. Pretty neat. Let's hit start mission. Uh, we're not going to buy a new airplane just yet. We're going to stick with the F-16. It is uh, it is capable of this mission. I believe so. And we're going to load out with the GPBs this time. And uh, we'll have that for our special weaponry. Other than that, we'll have the sidewinders as always. Let's go ahead and sortie and get going. Yes, yes, yes. ASAP. ASAP. Mission number two, charge the enemy. Destroy the enemy ground facilities. You got it. Um, so basically, not really sure I want to edit this stuff down yet. I'm going to keep pretty raw for this video. Um, but let me know in the comments below what you would like to see. You want me to skip out on any of the, rails, but they're still military vehicles the briefings? Okay. Destroy the target. Okay, so we have weapon two GPBs. No damages to be done to public facilities. Let's go ahead and light it up a little bit here. Any aircraft shot down could land in civilian territory. Now you're gonna notice that immediately. If let's let's pull our power back. We're gonna be doing about uh, you know, eight hundred something knots here. And look at there's where the uh, the circle is down there where the bombs are gonna hit. So you want to increase speed to put that out in front of you so you can kind of loft them at it. And these are laser guided. They the should, radar they should they get should it pretty close. fast. Yep. Uh, you, you. There's the radar vehicle there. Let's get some speed going here and try to get these guys. There it is right there. And bombs away. Fire the AA. the Goodbye. Got him. All right. We want the targets. We don't care about the AA for right now. Let's try to get it out there in front. Got it. Oh, 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 oh. Just drop it right there. It should hit. Hopefully. That one's going. Did we get it? I think we, yeah, we gotta get one more back here. Let's do it. We missed out on one. Where's it at? Targets this way. <sighs> there it goes, right there. Goodbye, you're dead. I don't even have to watch the the fireworks on that one. Back to our other ones. Ooh, they're trying to get tones on us. I don't think so, buddy. Throw that thing that way. There we go. Let's move on to the next one. They are shooting at us. Let's be aware of that. Target destroyed. Three to go. Right. Three to go. You got it. There we go. That thing is on its way. Enemy interceptors. That's not good. Oh, missile alert. Pull up, 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 pull up. Ooh, you son of a... I don't think so, dude. It's reliable, so All right, let's, let's try to do what we're supposed to do here with this mission. Loft Two that sucker that way. And another one on me. Come on, wingman. Help me out. Oh, stalling it, stalling it, stalling it. Back to it. We're okay. We're okay. Yep, I see it over there. Got it on target. Come on. It's on its way. They're firing missiles at us. All right, let's engage on these jackasses that are trying to kill us here. All right, let's bug out. You got it. Great work. Oh, we're over in the airfield. Holy crap. No signs of retreating. Continuing the mission. Oh. Oh, we got company everywhere. Every which way. Oh, we got stuff down here. Okay, they are taking off down there. That is a C-17. Let's get it. We need two for that guy, I'm sure. Oh, missile. All right. Okay, so we're supposed to probably take out those transports, is what they just said. All right, let's try to work on them. Although we got company right here. That's a MiG-21. I got tone. Take that. Oh, he missed. Pull it this way. Pull it this way. Pull it this way. Miss alert. Pull it hard. We're good. No, no stalls. No stalls. All right. I think we're getting distracted by the MiGs. There's one over this way. That's what I want. I want this 
big airplane right here. Come on. This one. Oh, they shot him down. Nice job, guys. Oh, I got some. I got some on my ass. Ooh. You look jackasses. These MIGs aren't messing around today, man. I think they're trying to distract us, though, for sure. Let's try to splash one. Rolling in on a MiG-21 now. Slow it down, slow it down. Moving on him. And he's going vertical. Come on, you little... Hang on, do it. Oh, he's going through the clouds. Oh, my... Jeez. Yep, we splashed him. Yeah, I'm noticing that. I'm noticing that. Come on, we're stalling. We're getting hit. Where the hell are they at? We need to get back on target here. I don't know what the hell's going on here. All right. Let's go to our inside view here. There they all are this way. These are all targets. Are we supposed to be taking these MIGs out or? No, there's another uh, C-17 on the runway right there. Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. Ooh, come on, come on. Get him. Light him up right here. Yep, trying to get on him a little bit more. Jesus, that was big. That was a big explosion. Yep, there's so many of these damn MIGs everywhere. There's another one, I see it right there. Come on, we're good, we're good. We're not done for, don't be shouting stuff like that already. Oh, MIG-21, I got Tone. Take him out. Right here, right here. Splash two. Got one right here. Ooh, you don't get that lucky every day. Come on. Pull up. We're all right. We're all right. Okay, right. let's uh, let's bug out towards this C-17 over here. Come on, we're moving in on him here. He's got to be in range shortly. Light it up. It's going down. All transports? All right, sweet. Five targets remaining. Not sure what they were carrying, but man, it was big. Go up to the outside view. It's time for some little fun. Here's a big right here. Come here, buddy. Fall it down, fall it down. Using guns. Uh, gun range, not missile range. Got a hit on him there. Another hit. Four targets remaining, got it. This way. Well, I had a shot on him right there immediately, but it's not gonna be good enough. On gun gun range. Oh, we got him right here. He's dead. Splash. Oh, I think these are Sam's or something getting shot at us here. Hard to say. I'm going after this MiG-21 right now. Pull that, pull it back, pull it back, pull it back. Area is right there. I'm on this one Come here, buddy. Go for it. Slow it down. Slow it down. I don't want to get the stall. He's dead. Nope. Too close. Got some hits on him there. Oh, that was a dead. Yeah. He made a huge mistake there on that one. Got another one this way. Oop, there he is. Slow it down. Slow it down. Oh, I think I got him. What's happening? Oh, shit. Well, things just got interesting, didn't they? Yes, they did. What happened? Status report. Status Multiple report. On radar. They're close. Wait, they're being launched. Is that them out of here? Yep. You're clear to engage. They're probably hostile. Judging by the way they look and move. It's a MiG-21. Let's get him. Slow down. Pulling in behind him here. Oh, shh. They took him out. Nice job, guys. I was just talking about how they weren't doing anything before. MQ-99, what the hell is this? This is probably them. IG turn. Yeah, I've already figured that out. Ooh. Damn, those things are fast. Those those little drones. Here we go. There you are. Come on. Is that them? Yeah, 
That's one of them right there. It only takes Just one missile on those guys. I was wasting two. Oh, missile, missile, missile. Missile, missile, missile. missile. I'm, I'm G in it. Oh my God, that was close. Yeah, we almost died. That would have been bad. Got a great shot on him right there. Come on, dump him, dump him. Where are you at? Who is shooting him in now? He's right here. There, he's going this way. That is a clean shot right there. Oh, he's out running us. Damn, that thing is fast. Nope, got him. <laughs> well, I've been taking him down all day, so steak dinner's for me all day. All right, got it right here. Yep, I see it. Trying to roll in on him. Golem 4 is on this MQ-99. There he went. Man, those, those little buggers are fast. Oh, I am lighting the afterburner to try to stay with this thing right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. It's on. Shit. Pull hard, pull hard. All right. Well, we're trying here. There it is right there. They're on him. Got a clean shot. On its way. Got him. Nice. Enemy aircraft confirmed down. Hell yeah. Woo, that was a little intense. Nice work, everyone. Mission complete. RTV. That was no intense. We couldn't have done any better. Returning to base. I don't know. Maybe the bandits we took down caused civilian casualties. Oh, pfft. Debbie Downer. No point arguing. That's how war is these days. That's how you war is these days. <laughs> I see up. Get out of there. Hey, Mage One, what's up? There we go. Don't ice up. You've given us air superiority by destroying their radar. The first barrier keeping us from retaking the space elevator is gone. Now is the time to group up and begin the counteroffensive. Let us reclaim what is ours. There you have it. What do we get? We got a B on that one. That wasn't the best. We didn't do the best on that. We got hit once. So that's probably the reason why. So we can move on to the next mission, but we're not going to do that just yet. Let's go ahead and hit uh, quit mission. So we go back to the main menu and we're going to do some of the multiplayer. Now I've jumped in to two battle royale sessions and I'm going to show you a little bit of what there is uh, in the multiplayer. Now the main menu is quite dull. There's not any anything here. Like it, it's very just like, you know, a computer style a UI, but there's no cool splash screen going on in the background or anything like that. That's kind of disappointing. Let's move into uh, you have data viewer here. Uh, what that does is shows you campaign data, multiplayer data, things like that. Uh, and then we have um, Steam store options. This is what I'm running right here uh, for. Uh, let's go down to graphics here. I'm using everything that's just by default. So there you go. Uh, turn sound down quite a bit. Flight sticks. You can't use a HOTAS as of right now. Now you can use the HOTAS. It's the T-Flight HOTAS 1. That's the only one that works apparently. So if you have a HOTAS and you want to get into this with a joystick, you're out of luck. You're going to have to use a Xbox controller now. If they bring that later down the road, we don't know yet. We really don't know. Let's jump into multiplayer and see what that's all about. Connects pretty quickly. We have matches, hangar, data viewer, and options here. So let's go ahead and hit match so we can jump in. Hangar would just be the plethora of airplanes that we have, and you can unlock them and the MRP, or is it MRP? I think it is for the uh, the currency. Uh, search for room, or you can create a room. You can create your own lobbies, which is really neat. Uh, and rules, I'm just gonna have everything set to any and hit search. Now you can narrow things down to what you're exactly looking for here. Room search results, enabled, disabled. That's the change team, so you can swap teams if you'd like, because there are um, team death matches, which are pretty cool. T two V two or four V four. And then you got the battle Royales, which are a ton of fun. That's what it's all about. Two to eight players. Uh, and then moving on down, you, you know, quite a few people doing some battle Royale. I think we're going to do that. All right. We are joined here into a battle Royale lobby. And this is what you are greeted with here. You have your sortie. Uh, you have your, oh, I am the uh, leader right now or waiting for more people to join. Uh, you have your hangar where you can go in and change out uh, what airplane you want to be. Aircraft set, aircraft tree, you have instant radio messages. 
uh, that you can do for these little early you know little things you can say while you're doing things in the battle royale you have your room settings here uh we can change the rules here stage hot join total cost limit i'm gonna put it on limited i don't know why people put a cost limit on there for now uh oh no yeah 2000 or less is actually not bad let's keep that there uh chat you can't um just freely type things which is kind of strange uh you can go into uh the category here of all and these are all the different messages that you have here oh, we have a bunch of people joining us and uh you can send those but that's all you can really do you can invite people to the room uh you can look at your data viewer op options and leave the room of course um sorry guys i'm, I'm still sick under the weather so I, my voice is starting to kill me and they want to go so they're saying let's do this so all we have to do is sorty soon as we get um everybody on the same page waiting for defcon zero uh to get his stuff uh taken care of here so once defcon zero readies up like that we can do sorty and we're gonna go fly so we're a complete noob uh and we have the f16 so we're probably gonna get our ass kicked here but we'll still try the best we can go ahead and select uh whatever airplane you want to in your aircraft set selections and just like that we are on our way let's see who we're up against romeo one that's us hey, hey we have another noob here alpha uh, those guys look oh man might be able to beat up on that f uh 14. let's do it so you see this you have your radar here everybody's headed towards each other here let's break right go after somebody as soon as we can here we're gonna go after this little uh gripping first although we might end up going with somebody else i don't know we're coming right at this guy is gonna be oh break 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 Careful, enemy locked onto you. oh he's pissed he's pissed Romeo watch one. watch missile. that missile Ooh. okay it's starting to get spicy now isn't it just a little bit where you at buddy oh you're another f-16 right here uh, i don't really want to mess with another rookie let's go after this f-14 we said we'd probably be able to get him spin around on him here don't want to lose too much airspeed while we're doing this which, which way are you going? Where are you going, buddy? Shit. Had to fire off while I could. Try to get some hits on him. Not going to happen. He's right on my ass. Around this way. Yep. I'm pulling G's here. Oh, my God. We got real slow there for a second. Almost died. There's that F-14. He's going back up this way. Pull around on him. There we go. There we go. Nope. Not gonna be good enough there. Keep on going for him. Ooh, buddy. He is. I think he's engaging somebody himself. There we go. Oh, so close. Almost in a gun range with him here. There we go. Oh, he's getting pissed off at me. Oh my god. Somebody got a missile off perfectly there. Oh, we almost died. All right, let's cut it on him here. There's a lot of airplanes right here. We're running out of altitude fast. There's that grip and E. He's going to run this way. Let's try to get on him. Ooh, this guy's in range. That's a clean shot. If we can do it. If we can do it. Nope. Ooh, he's... He's got a lot. He's got three stars there. Pull, pull, pull. Jesus, this thing gets its ass kicked. I told you we would. We're in early, early, early uh, airplanes that are available to you. You get an F-16 and you're going to get your ass kicked. But it's all right. You just go out here and do the best you can. I mean, we're going up against a gripping two-star guy here. Who's this? We got these guys over here. That's the other F-16. Let's just go after him. He seems busy right now, and he's probably a noob and probably going to make a mistake like that. Nope. Slow down, slow down. This guy's going to try to get on me right now. Yeah, he is. Son of a bitch. And you run out of airspeed real fast, and you're dead. It's okay. Oh, he crashed. It was another F-16 that got me? Okay. Well, good on him. So as you see... You don't just die, you sortie out again, and you, you try again. And the person with the most points at the end is going to win the round.
It's as simple as that. But right now, we're just trying to get something going here. Just something. Because as it says, oh, there he is right there. Hold him back. That was a clean shot. That was a good one. That was a good one. Not enough. Come on, pull it, you piece of sh... You cannot turn that guy. What is this? He keeps crashing into the ocean. Oh, man. This is a bad one. My second uh, my second match I ever did. Actually, I actually splashed somebody, and I was pretty happy with that. These guys are good. I've had a little bit of time to get used to the game. That's for certain. Oh, we get down here. There's that F-16. Oh, shit. That was firing at me and then hitting the ocean at the same time. Careful. Enemy locked onto you. Yep. Watching our airspeed here. Another... Ooh, I don't think so, buddy. Romeo one, locked on. Oh, yeah, baby. That was a hit. That was a hit for sure. He's possibly going down, maybe. There, he's this way. You're falling behind the enemy. Yeah, I know I am. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Oh, I don't have a ton on you. Oh, I do, but it's not enough. Jesus. Romeo one, down. What? Another F-16 got me? Damn. Good on him. Well, at least we got some points before the, the whole thing is over. Yeah, we'll try not to. So that is a look at the Battle Royale. And I've got to say, with the multiplayer, it is incredibly fun. It really is. Um, you're going to have to grind through in the very beginning. You know, you're going to suck when you first start. That's just going to happen. Um, but other than that, I, the, the experience itself is very fluid, and I really really do have fun with it so let's see if uh, I can do better come on baby get him get him, get him. oh got a hit on him there Woohoo! boy these guys are uh, are pretty tough not gonna lie oh I had another shot on there come on stay with him oh splashed him hang on to her oh, 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 oh. It is getting intense, folks. Come on, baby. Ooh, he's close. It's an F-14 Tomcat. Come on, let's get the kitty. Let's get that kitty. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Ooh, had a shot on him there. Going to guns. Come on, baby. Combat time's up. Oh, that was that. Woo-wee. That was a fun little one there at the end. Did much better in this round. But you can see the appeal of the Battle Royale mode. It's pretty fun. We uh, finished uh, fifth in this one. It's that dead ass last with the goose egg. Whew. That was fun. That was indeed fun. You got royal results. You got fifth place, everybody. All right. No crashes. It's got a good score. That's what we like to see. All right. So we redeemed ourselves a little bit. Just a little bit. But uh, that is the first look at Ace Combat 7. I'm enjoying it so far. Let me know what you guys want to see. Do you want me to do the... Um, would you like me to do the... I'm going to hit leave room and they're going to get control of it. Uh, do you want to see me do the campaign? Do you have interest in that? Or do you want me to mix it up? Do a little bit of campaign like we did in this video. Uh, maybe like a mission and then do some online the mission. You know, leave your, uh, your suggestions in the comments below. But that's going to do it for me, guys for Ace Combat 7. I'll see you next time. Take care.